Hey, this is Mac here with Rogue Blades. Forging a cookery here. Got started a little bit ago. I figure I better show some of this on the footage before I get too carried away here. I'm working in the point right now. Just nice and easy. Actually, we're at the top and the bottom at the same time, otherwise, you wind up with a little funny looking cap in the middle. It's hard to remove once you got it in there. Not impossible, but hard. Now, bring the point together now. Here at the end, a lot. Nice and straight. As you can see, I only have a few minutes before I lose my heat totally, so it's lots of little st constant steps. my new rigid padding handle fan, by the way. Very sweet, worth the money. A little pricey, but you get what you pay for. As you can see, time to get the nice curve on top. A little hump right there, we're gonna put you down. This is my first cookery for a friend and customer. the heat. Okay, so I've missed video on a few steps here, but as you can see, I've got my blade eh, pretty close to the angle that I want here. As you can see, I need a little bend a little bit more here. I pretty much got this completely beveled in here. I need to do a little straightening right here and bend this back the other way, up that way. As you can see, there's a little bit of a banana curve going that way, and I want to turn it the other way so that it's more like my template that I've made. Um, so that means basically flattening this and then put using the horn of the anvil to pull this section here down. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I'm letting the forge heat up right now. There's my homemade propane forge with my little shelf right there. It was a broken tool in me. Use what you got. Okay, right now I'm going to try to use the horn right there to let's see if I get my camera adjusted here. Adjust my angle a little bit. Introduce a little bit more of a curve on this thing. Keep 
flattening it. template and we'll see how we're looking. Now what I'm doing is letting it normalize. As you can see it's full cherry red. You can see that, I don't know. Just heat it up a couple times. Let it cool down. Nice and slow. I've seen some guys swing them back and forth but yeah, don't really know that that's required. I think just the fact that you heat it up to cherry red, let it cool down to a dull gray, what that does is take all the stresses out of the blade. Anything that I put in there by hammering. On a blade like this, this size, once they get over about 10 or 12 inches long, if you do not do this, you're gonna experience problems in the quench when you go to harden. More than likely, you'll either have warpage could possibly have cracks and in worst case scenario it could actually break on you so I'm just gonna do this one more time I'll let it cool down here another minute as you can see it's already pretty much gray I don't know if you can tell on that light with that that it's pretty much gray I mean it's still over it's probably around a thousand degrees but you can see the heat rolling off of it I'll just do this a little bit, let it cool down a few minutes, and pop it back in the forge. And I do the handle and the blade part. That way both get to cool equally, normalize. This removes stress stress fractures, cracks, stress risers, well, I shouldn't say cracks, stress risers that might be inside of the steel from the forging. And put my hand in there. It's still quite hot, but it's nowhere near foraging temperature. You would never want to strike a blade when it's this color. You're pretty much guaranteed to crack it or break it. Just let it cool down a little bit here and then I'm gonna pop it back in the forge so to be continued. Okay, here it is. It's done foraging other than maybe a couple little tweaks here and there, but I'm ready to start grinding it. Maybe you've Fix the tip there, as you can see right here. Yeah, my tip came out a little funky right there. I don't really like that too much. And I never could get this dished part out right here. So I'm gonna try to actually probably grind the tip off just a hair, maybe a, it was about a quarter inch off that section. And this hump here might come down just a little bit. Plus I'm gonna start my grind lines right about in there, all the way up through here. This will be my bevels. And I gotta clean up this, these hammer marks in there, as you can see them, I don't know. But those are, ugh, yuck, nasty. But that's what a grinder's for, so you can't get it all out in forging. I don't even try anymore, I used to, but. So here it is, first attempt of kookery, forging complete, on to the grinding. It's still hot, I just, uh, it's been normalizing for probably 10 minutes now, just sitting here cooling off. It's still really hot. I would not want to pick it up right now, but let it cool down. Tomorrow I'll start the grind. <laughs> 